नमस्कार एंड जजलप्पा लिसनर्स दिस इज एन इंग्लिश टीचर लीलाधर अधिकारी टू डू इंग्लिश लेसन फॉर ग्रेड नाइन स्टूडेंट्स दिस रेडियो लेसन इज लॉन्च बाई कृतिपुर म्युनिसिपालिटी फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर अनेबल टू फिजिकली अटेंड एट द स्कूल ड्यू टू कोविड नाइन्टीन पैंडेमिक कॉज बाई कोरोना भाइरस टू इन्श्योर स्टूडेंट्स डोंट मिस आउट ऑन एन एजुकेशन वेन दे कांट गो टू स्कूल दिस रेडियो प्रोग्राम इज बींग ब्रॉडकास्ट थ्रू द रेडियो वेब्स अफ नेवा एफ एम वन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स मेगा हर्ट्स विच इज द प्रेजेंटेशन अफ द अनक मीडिया फर नेपाल भाषा अकाडेमी सीचुएटेड इन कीर्तिपुर हेलो ग्रेड नाइन स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम टू टुडे इज लेसन स्टूडेंट्स वुड यू रिमाइंड मी द लेसन दैट वी डिड लास्ट वीक येस इट वॉज अ रिडिंग लेसन एंड भैकन्सी अनाउंसमेंट एंड हैव यू डॉन योर होम टास्क दैट्स गुड and are you well prepared with your pen paper and the text the textbook students well let me read a piece of ne recent news on tv due to covid-19 pandemic caused by corona virus the concept of home schooling emerged however the evidence says so that home schooling is not going well Today two students were suspended and one teacher was fired the students were suspended for fighting in the classroom and the teacher was fired for drinking on the job that's the news of the day today the students this news report is just a joke okay now open your textbook on page number 88 that is listening in unit 7 What does think and act say? Think and act activity there on the on the page given there. Uh, if you are visiting new place, you need to know about the place where you can stay, the facilities available there, and the price you should pay for them. List the information that you would ask for if you are visiting a new place. Dear students. well uh, now uh, you can see uh, uh, there what are the things uh, you need to ask okay room uh, light bathroom common or attached rent or price beds how many beds are there single or double water hot or cold water facility tv phone window scene and so on location well now let's move on to study time on page number 89 in this part of the listening activity you listen to a telephone conversation uh, read the questions carefully before you listen uh, you should only listen to the audio once okay tejaswi is telephoning a travel agency travel agency is a company or an office which offers different types of traveling packages for different de- destinations Before listening to the conversation read the inquiry form carefully students inquiry form is a questioning form you have to fill up after you uh, take the information collect the information from the customer then listen and complete each gap with no more than 3 words students in a gap you should put 3 words maximum not 4 or more okay students now uh um, first be clear about the questions uh worldwide travel and tours limited uh inquiry form my dear all worldwide travel and tours limited is a travel agency if any customer telephones them asking for information about travels and accommodation they fill in this form to collect the information of the customers i have already mentioned accommodations in this context includes rooms or buildings or lodgings to live to sleep or to stay for a temporary time for a short time while in travel okay a inquiry regarding holiday in dot 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 students you have to mention the month here b number on page number 89 number of people how many people are going to stay there c number name of people what are their names a uh, kind of accommodation needed there are different types of buildings or houses what type of buildings or houses do they need 
D. Requirements. Students, do they need cheap or expensive accommodation? What is the price? Uh, and where do they want to stay? Customer's name? Who is calling? The customer is making an inquiry. In which month, students? F. How far is the accommodation from the Fewa Lake? How long does it take to reach the place from the Fewa Lake? Uh, G. Who has already visited Pokhara? The customer? Who is calling? Or who? H. What will Tejasui have to do before phoning Suzel again? Who is Suzel students? Yes, he is an assistant in the travel agency. Tejasui will contact him again, but she has to do something before. Now, listen to the audio and fill up the form that we have just discussed. Grade 9, Unit 7. You will hear a girl making a hotel reservation over the phone. Worldwide Travel and Tours. Good morning. Can I help you? Yes. I need some information, please. Yes? Well, I know it's rather late for a reservation, but we are three friends, and we'd like to travel to Pokhara next September. Hmm. Let's see. Where would you like to stay? We've been told the Fulbari Resort and Spa Pokhara is one of the best resorts in that area. Would that be possible? Quite difficult in September. Would you like to visit in October? Or... We'd rather make a self-catering arrangement. Are you thinking of a villa or an apartment? I guess a small apartment will be cheaper. Provided it's not during September. Yes. You know, prices are lower out of season. How long would you like to stay? About a week, but it might be difficult to change dates, you know. We are three and have different times available. Hmm, I see. How many did you say were in the party? There will be three of us, all girls. Shilpa, Sudiksha, and me myself. So we need a safe place on the lakeside. But we cannot spend more than 15,000 rupees a day. For that price, you won't have many options, I'm afraid. But let me find out. If you could arrange to make it in late September, a month later, I might have a bed sitter for 10,000 rupees. It could accommodate three single beds, and it's a five-minute walk from Fiwa Lake. I'd love that. What's the name of the lakeside? Have you got it handy? Yes, Pokhara Lakeside. Have you heard about it? Yes. My parents went there on their honeymoon, and they still keep advising people to visit it. Anyway, I need to talk it over with my friends, though. Well, contact your friends, come to an agreement, and give me a ring again. My name is Sujal Joshi. You will find me here any working day from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., but not on Saturdays. I will. Thank you, Sujal. You've been very kind. Wait! You haven't given me your name. Sorry, I am Tejashwi Gimire from Kathmandu. T-E-Z-A-S-W-I-G-H-I-M-I-R-E. -I -I -E. I'll get back to you tomorrow without fail, Sujal. Thank you again. Bye. Great. Talk to you soon. Goodbye. Dear students, now fill in the forms. Remember, maximum three words in a gap. A. Inquiry regarding holiday in. B. Number of people. C. Name of the people. Kind of accommodation needed. D. Requirements. 1. Price. Rupees. 2. Location. E. Customer's name. Inquiry made in. 
F. How far from the Fewa Lake is the accommodation offered? G. Who has visited Pokhara? H. What will Tejasui have to do before phoning Suzel again? Dear all, let's match the words and their meanings. Write down please. Column A, words and column B, meanings. Column A, please write down under column A. 1. Inquiry. 2. Accommodation. A C C O M O D A T I O N accommodation. Three reservation. R E S C R B A T I O N reservation. Four self catering. Self catering. Five villa. V I W -L, L A villa. Six apartment. And seven bed sitter. B E D S I T T E R bed sitter. And under column B. A. Buildings, rooms, lodgings. B. Food service management by yourself. C. A flat. D. Questioning. E. Bedroom and sitting room. Together. F. A large expensive house. G. Booking. Well, listen to the conversation again and match the words of column A with those of column B. Uh, dear students, are you ready to listen? Okay. You will hear a call for making a hotel reservation over, a, uh, over the telephone. Okay. Uh, hotel assistant, sorry, uh, travel agency assistant. Worldwide travel and tours. Good morning. Can I help you? Tejasvi. Yes, I need some information, please. Assistant. Yes, Tejasvi. Well, I know it's rather late for a reservation, but we are three friends and we'd like to travel to Pokhara next September. Hmm. Let's see. Where would you like to stay? Tejasvi. We've been told the Fulbari Resort and Spa Pokhara is one of the best resorts in this, in that area. Would that be possible? Assistant, uh, quite difficult in September. Uh, would you like to visit in October or Tejasvi? We'd rather make a self-catering arrangement. Assistant, are you thinking of a villa or an apartment? Tejasvi. I guess a small apartment will be cheaper. Assistant, provided it's not during September, yes? You know, prices are lower out of season. How long would you like to stay? Tejasvi, about a week, but it might be difficult to change dates. You know, we are three and have different times available. Assistant, hmm, I see. How many did you say were in the party? Tejasvi. There will be three of us, all girls. Shilpa, Sudiksha and me, myself. So we need a safe place on the lakeside area. But we cannot spend more than 15,000 a day. 15,000 rupees a day. Assistant, for that price you won't have many options. I am afraid. But let me find out if you could arrange to make it in late September. A month later, I might have a bed seater for rupees 10,000. Uh, it could accommodate three single beds and it's five minutes uh, walk from Fewa Lake. Tejasvi, I'd love that. What's the name of the lake site? Have you got it handy? Is it nearby? Within reach? Assistant, yes, Pokhara Lake site. Mm, have you heard about it? Tejasvi, yes, my parents went there on their honeymoon and they still keep advising people to visit it. Anyway, I need to talk it over with my friends though. Assistant, uh, well, contact your friends, come to an agreement and give me a ring again. My name is Suzal Joshi. 
you will find me here any walking day from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., but not on Saturdays. Tejasvi, I will. Thank you, Suzal. You have been very kind. Assistant, wait, you haven't given me your name. Tejasvi, sorry, I am Tejasvi Ghimire from Kathmandu. T E Z A S W I, Tejasvi. G H I M I R E Ghimire. I'll get back to you tomorrow without fail, Suzal. Thank you again. Bye. Assistant. Great. Talk to you soon. Goodbye. Dear students, uh, now number one. Uh, inquiry means what? Number two, accommodation. We have discussed its meaning earlier. Number three, reservation refers to dot, dot, dot. Number four, self-catering is what? Number five, what's a villa, students? Number six, and the synonym of apartment is? Number seven, what do you mean by bed sitter, dear? Now, listen to the conversation once again and make necessary corrections, if any. Grade nine, unit seven. You will hear a girl making a hotel reservation over the phone. Worldwide Travel and Tours. Good morning. Can I help you? Yes, I need some information, please. Yes? Well, I know it's rather late for a reservation, but we are three friends and we'd like to travel to Pokhara next September. Hmm, let's see. Where would you like to stay? We've been told the Fulbari Resort and Spa Pokhara is one of the best resorts in that area. Would that be possible? Quite difficult in September. Would you like to visit in October? Or... We'd rather make a self-catering arrangement. Are you thinking of a villa or an apartment? I guess a small apartment will be cheaper. Provided it's not during September. Yes. You know, prices are lower out of season. How long would you like to stay? About a week, but it might be difficult to change dates, you know. We are three and have different times available. Hmm, I see. How many did you say were in the party? There will be three of us, all girls. Shilpa, Sudiksha, and me myself. So we need a safe place on the lakeside. But we cannot spend more than 15,000 rupees a day. For that price, you won't have many options, I'm afraid. But let me find out. If you could arrange to make it in late September, a month later, I might have a bed sitter for 10,000 rupees. It could accommodate three single beds, and it's a five-minute walk from Fiwa Lake. I'd love that. What's the name of the lakeside? Have you got it handy? Yes, Pokhara Lakeside. Have you heard about it? Yes. My parents went there on their honeymoon, and they still keep advising people to visit it. Anyway, I need to talk it over with my friends, though. Well, contact your friends, come to an agreement, and give me a ring again. My name is Sujal Joshi. You will find me here any working day from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., but not on Saturdays. I will. Thank you, Sujal. You've been very kind. Wait, you haven't given me your name. Sorry, I am Tejashwi Gimire from Kathmandu. T-E-Z-A-S-W-I-G-H-I-M-I-R-E. -I -I -E. I'll get back to you tomorrow without fail, Sujal. Thank you again. Bye. Great. Talk to you soon. Goodbye. My dear students, now let's check the answers together. The first activity, number A. Inquiry regarding holiday in September. B. Number of people? Three. Good. C. Name of the people? Silpa, Sudiksha, and Tejasvi. Kind of accommodation needed? 
a small apartment, not a villa, because villa is expensive. D. Requirements. Price, rupees. Maximum 15,000 rupees a day they can spend. Location, lakeside area. E. Customer's name, Tejasvi Ghimire. Inquiry made in late August. Late August because they are making the arrangement for September, late September. F. How far from the Feva Lake is the accommodation offered? Good. Just five minutes walk from the Feva Lake. G. Who has already visited Pokharai students? Paranimun. Tejasvi's parents, their fa our father and mother. H. What will Tejasvi have to do before phoning Suzel again? She will have to contact her friends and come to an agreement. Now, let's move on to the second activity you have done. That is the matching task. Number one, inquiry. Number D, it matches with number D, questioning. Two, accommodation. It matches with A, buildings, rooms, lodging. Three, reservation. Matches with G, booking. Reservation and booking are synonyms. Four, self-catering. Matches with B, food service by yourself. Five, villa. It matches with number G, a large and expensive house. Number six, apartment. Matches with number C, a flat. Seven, bed sitter. Matches with E, bedroom and sitting room. A single room is used as bedroom and sitting room. That is called bed sitter. Okay. My dear students, this is not, of course, a suitable time to visit. Though we talked about visit here, our lesson is about a visit. Because experts say coronavirus spreads more rapidly in cold weather. Suppose you have a friend who is fond of traveling, now write a letter to him or her telling not to travel at this pandemic time, at this pandemic situation, crisis time. Suggest the possible risks. Here's your home assignment, students. That's all for today. Thank you for staying tuned to the program. Have a wonderful days ahead and see you next week.